Hello YouTube, this is WD Creates, and I am here today to show you how to do some stuff in Unity. Um, today's tutorial is on two-dimensional blend trees, and uh, I actually already have a project, a video game, going that I've been working on for quite a long time, and so I won't be starting a brand new project um, to show you guys how to do this. I'm just going to be using this existing one. But I, uh, I really do think that um, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, you should be able to totally follow along and everything. And if for some reason it's unclear, you can let me know in the comments. And I can go and do a, a, a brand new tutorial um, with a new project and stuff. But I honestly think it should be fine. Um, so enough for the introduction. It's time to get started. Um, and so yeah, basically what I have here is I'll, I'll play the game real quick, um, so I can show you the like the problem uh, and why we need a two-dimensional blend tree to solve it. So I have this video game here. Um, I already set it up for the red and the blue characters. Uh, I already set it up to work for them, so it's only, it only doesn't work for the green character. But so one-dimensional blend tree, right, is just a one. Uh, it's one variable and so it's the move speed so like for example this is a one dimensional blend tree this running animation right now um, and that's because when you slowly tilt the stick he slowly walks and when you tilt the stick a lot he runs fast and that's you know that's pretty much it there's nothing else funky going on um, however when I use the blue character who I set it up with already, you can see that he has the same thing, except he can also pick this crate up and it'll still be working. So he has his arms out, but he can still run around and he can still walk. And you know, depending on how how fast he's he's moving, it um it affects his animation. Whereas when you do that with the green character, he kinda just still runs, right? Like he's just running with it and there's it looks pretty bad. It's kind of just floating in front of him. So I'll make this real nice, short, and sweet. Of a, um, I'll make this tutorial real nice and sweet on how to fix that. So what we're going to do is go to the animator for the character. And please just ignore these three things. They have nothing to do with this tutorial, and don't get freaked out. Um, you really don't need them at all for this. Along with this. We're really just working with these three things here, and honestly, uh, we're really just mostly just working with these two. Um, so, right now, for my idle and my motion, I have a one-dimensional blend tree working. So for the idle, I'll show you real quick. There's just this this float called idle blend, and um, oh sorry, I had set this up already. Uh, this is what this is what it is. Um, it's called idle blend, and when you play it, there is his regular idle where he's not moving much, and he's kind of like his his face does this weird little thing, and he just kind of breathes. But when you change the the one dimensional variable, he does some other cool stuff. So he'll turn around, and um, you know when it's when it's halfway, he kind of turns around a little bit and stuff like that. But um, that's how that works. And then for the motion, it's a very similar thing where uh, when move speed is 1, like I was saying earlier, he's doing a full-on sprint. But when move speed is 0, he's kind of doing this walk thing. So um, so that's a one-dimensional blend tree. And now what we're going to do to create a two-dimensional one is, and keep in mind, um, I apologize again, uh, I have these animations already set up, and you know, since it's for a video game that I'll be releasing, um, I'm not going to give you guys the animations, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but it really is just, we're just using a walk, a run, and an idle, and then you just need animations of the same things, but with his arms out. So it's not um, it's not horribly long, and if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how I did that too, I can, I can do that as well. I'm not the greatest animator, but I can show you how I did it. So anyways, I go up to this thing here, it says blend type, and click on the drop down we're gonna do 2d freeform directional and we're gonna add so move speed is the first parameter which once again move speed is just a float and in my code I set 
move speed equal to basically to how fast the user is pressing on the control stick. And then the second one is holding object, which is a float that I've created, although we're going to basically use it like it is a boolean, but um, two-dimensional freeform blend trees don't use booleans, so I just made it into a float. But it's basically going to be one when we pick it up. When we pick up a crate or another object, we'll set it to one in code. And when we drop the object, we will set it to zero. So it's very simple. So we click here, add new motion field. We're going to do two more. So now we have four. And uh, like I said, I already have the animations. So we have the green walk crate and green run crate. And so move speed, since he's walking, regardless of whether he's using the crate or not, we want that to be zero because when he's walking without the crate, it's zero. And likewise, when he's running with the crate, we want it to be 1 because when he's running without the crate, it's 1. And the cool thing about these two-dimensional blend trees is that it makes sense. It really does. It, it totally makes sense because when he's walking, it's 0. So when he's walking with the crate, it's 0. When he's running, it's 1. When he's running with the crate, it's 1. And it's really just the, the Y variable, this holding object that we're going to be changing when he has the crate because, okay, when we pick the crate up in code, like I said, we'd be using or we'd be setting this to one. So by setting the Y variable, AKA holding object to one, our blend tree is actually now complete already, believe it or not. So there's just these four quadrants. There's the bottom left quadrant of zero, zero for the walk because he's walking slowly and he's not holding the crate. And then there's the upper right quadrant which is when he is running and holding the crate. And so what that looks like here, real quick, this is zero, zero, just like he was before. So let's say he's not holding it. This is basically just a one dimensional blend tree when he's not holding it. And we can see that right here because we're only moving this one and it'll work just like it did before. But when we set this to one, all of a sudden, he's now kind of walking with his arms out like he's holding the crate. And now we can move this, the move speed, and he actually starts to run with it too, which is really cool. Um, the only thing I have to change is just the speed, and this is just the speed of the animation. Um, because my default speed for the regular animations are just a little bit faster anyway, so I just changed them to, to look like that. And so that's actually set up now, and we've already done that. And so we just need to do the same thing for the idle blend tree. So we're going to come in here. We're going to change this to 2D freeform directional, just like before. We're going to add two new motion fields, just like before. Except for this one, I only have, I actually only have one idle crate animation. And that's okay. So I'm just going to use only the same one. I'm sorry if the music just got a little too loud. I like to listen to video game music when I work. And so yeah, we're, we're going to put in the same exact values. Um, so remember, when he's holding the crate, it's always going to be 1 in the Y, because that's what we want it to be. So we can look here, and we can see he's not holding the crate. But when he is holding the crate, he's now sitting there and like he's kind of breathing, but with his arms out. And so that's perfect. And if we run this game right now, Oh, and I actually, here, sorry, I can show you real quick, it's, I mean, the code is very, very simple, but, um, I can show you that, what it looks like real quick. Okay, so you can see right, right here, this is kind of just the movable blocks code that I have set up. Um, and you can, you can ignore a lot of this, but basically, this is just saying, if I... If I click on the button, aka the X button, um, this is just for keyboard input, but I also have the controller input here. So yeah, if I click on the X button and I'm not holding a block already, then I hold the block and I just, right here, this is it. I just animator.setfloat holding object to one. And then likewise, if I'm already holding the block and I let go of it, then 
I do the opposite where I just set it to zero and that's exactly like we were saying and so that's the code for that um, and the other stuff is really just aesthetics on how I kind of set it equal to a, a transform on the character and then this thing is just how I handle the X button appearing um, but yeah that's really it and so now if we hit play it'll almost be perfect So he's doing exactly what blue and red were doing when he's on the ground. It's perfect. So I can hold it, hold still, and he's kind of like shaking a little bit. And um, I can run around. I can walk. I can twist and stuff. But now when I jump, it's kind of a problem because when I jump, he's uh, he's flailing on his arms like he's jumping without the crate. Whereas, you know, when the red character or the blue character jumps they jump while holding the crate and um, that's actually really simple to do and I'll show you um, for the jump blend just before I enter the jump state I just want to check real quick to see if I'm holding an object so to do that you just go in here and you say before I can go in here from idle or from motion I want to make sure excuse me that holding object is less than 0 0.1 and that basically means that he is not holding a crate and I just want to go do that for from the motion too. holding object less than 0 0.1 and then I should uh, deactivate that one green character who's kinda just standing around um, and so yeah, we'll do this now, and you can see that he can now jump, and he's just like the other characters now. And so yeah, um, I'm you know I apologize again. I'm not gonna be able to release you know these assets since the game's in progress, um, and I don't. I can always yeah I can always show you guys how to set up how to set this up more if you um if you really need help with it. Um, these are more. These tutorials are hopefully going to be geared toward more intermediate to advanced things in Unity, because that's kind of what I enjoy teaching more. Um, but if people are interested in the more, the more um, beginner kind of tutorials, then that's always okay too. So, um, so yeah. If uh, if you guys have any questions or any comments, uh, please just leave them down below. And I hope to be back with you guys soon um, to do some more tutorials and to show you updates on my game and whatnot. Um, but yeah, until then, I um, hope you guys have a nice day and...